What's going on? Captain Paul from TSP bringing you another video. If you enjoy this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Help us with the algorithm. We are just reached over 200 subscribers and looking to continually grow. So let's get right into it. Russia, man, we might be on the precipice of World War III. Russia has threatened Finland with military strategic action if they do go ahead. So this is relatively recently. Helensky, they kind of voted on it. It looks like they really want to join NATO. Uh, Finland is not necessarily feeling the greatest about Russia's actions in Ukraine, and they want to make sure they fortify themselves and have a way to protect themselves if Russia decides to expand westward more. Now, Finland has been known for its neutrality. That is known not to be kind of engaging any packs like this, so it's kind of helped have stability in that region for that reason. Uh, Russia has never had to overstep in their bounds because they feel like Russia, um, Switzerland, and countries of that ilk have always stayed, has always stayed kind of relatively neutral. But with how Russia has done their actions in Ukraine and how poorly that has gone for Russia, uh, Finland has kind of sped up the process, actually expedited the process of joining NATO and want to make sure if Finland's attacked, that then all NATO countries can jump in and protect them. And in response to this, Russia's like, well, guess what? If you do that, we're going to, you know, retaliate in some shape or form with our military and what does that say to me that says to me if finland does join and russia does attack we are looking at the start of world war three and i do not say that lightly i'm hoping this never happens i hope this never comes to pass but uh russia is being more desperate and more desperate over as time goes on how much they're getting embarrassed on the national stage with how poor their invasion has been going um it does not look good for Russia at all. You know, they thought that the Ukrainians were just going to lie down and take it and take the salvation, quote unquote. But to be fair, the U Ukrainian military, they have stayed and fought and kind of stick by their guns and have made it so that Russia is just not going to lay down and get taken overtaken by Russia. That being said, this has made other dominoes fall in effect where countries nearby Ukraine, right? Not that far away. Are like, hmm, maybe I need to join NATO to protect myself. So I don't blame the Finnish government for getting involved in NATO. It'd be something that I feel like I would need to do as well because you in Ukraine you're seeing Russia act straight out desperate. They're bombing they're bombing apartments, they're bombing civilians. There's really there is a no there is no no-go zone, right? There's no safe spot in Ukraine. They're looking to kind of make sure that they have military superiority and well it's not necessarily working that well for russia what do i think do i really think this is world war three yes i do i actually i'm a little bit nervous regarding this because and russia does indeed attack them in some shape or form that means all the nato countries got to jump in every single country's got to jump in you know and be willing to throw them hands quote unquote we could be looking at the precipice of something very dangerous and Let's not forget, and I think this kind of gets lost in the shuffle. In China, they've been doing flyovers of ta Taiwan the past couple of years. They've been more and more aggressive over Taiwan because they view that as a, a land that the Chinese government deserves to have. It's within their birthright, essentially. So if Russia kicks off, I believe Russia and China will most likely have some type of alliance to make sure that they can look after their own interests. And I think if Russia goes into Finland, I damn sure pretty I would have to say that I'm not a military expert but I'm pretty damn well sure that China would go into Taiwan because then you would have to spread your forces and it'd be very difficult to fight war in two places it's not looking good not looking great found this video Russia warns a response to Finland entry it was trending it was 22 felt like having some comments on it because um it's scary man you know I know people sign up for the military to defend their country but you know we don't want to go send our kids off the war and, you know, lose their lives. You know, at the end of the day, they are to protect our freedoms of America as Americans, I should say. But, you know, I don't think World War Three is anyone is anything that anyone should be craving. So that is my thoughts, my opinions. Let me know what you think down below. Do you think that World War Three is about to happen? And I pray to God it's not. So this is Captain Paul, the TSP podcast. And I'll see you in the next episode.